Here we have the domain and the range of the square root function advanced. So the process is going to be the same, except what happens as we follow that process might be a little bit different than the basic topic. So we still have to take what's inside the radical greater than or equal to zero. So then I'm gonna continue doing my solving. And then I'm gonna divide by eight. Now, when you divide when solving an inequality, it's very important that, that you understand something. If you divide by a positive number, this symbol will stay the same. If you divide by a negative number, this symbol will flip over. So since I divided by a positive eight, that means that this symbol is going to look exactly the same as it did, and then I can perform my division. And how do I write that in an interval notation? Here's negative three, and it means x's are greater than negative three, and because of the bar, it's going to have a bracket. So my domain is negative three to infinity. Now let's look at b, for instance. Here, I'm going to take what's inside the radical and set it greater than or equal to zero. But I do have to solve for x because I have this coefficient in front. So what I'm gonna to do to get rid of that coefficient is divide both sides by negative one. That will cancel out the negative, giving me x alone, and zero divided by anything is still zero. However, because I divided by a negative on both sides, this symbol is going to now point in the other direction. And so now when I graph that, here's zero, this is saying x less than zero, which means it would be these x values. And so that interval is from negative infinity, because it's going in the negative direction, to zero. And then of course there's still a bar here, so there's still going to be a bracket. And this is the domain in interval notation. Now if I take this radicand and I set that e greater than or equal to zero, so we're going to solve by subtracting 32 on both sides. And then we're gonna continue solving for x by dividing by negative eight. So we get x by itself. Over here we get positive four. But because we did divide by a negative, we have to flip the sign over. So then that means here's four, x is less than four, it's these values with a bracket. Now it's less than four forever. So at some point you're gonna pass up zero and then be into the negative numbers. So it is still negative infinity to four with that bracket.